Hey everybody, uh, let's take a look at the Antares 0.5x fork reducer just to give you a heads up and if you have problems gathering a full disk image with your telescope uh, this is solar imaging of course, that's pretty much all I do um, because depending on the focal length of your telescope and the, the chip size of your camera you might not be able to gather a full disk image so a focal reducer of course will always help and this is the Antares 0.5x focal reducer so it's cutting your focal length in half. My telescope here has a native focal length of 560 millimeters. So this focal reducer will take me down to 280 millimeter focal length. And that focal length, I'm going to have plenty of black space around the disc, and I'll get a, I'll be able to get a full disc image with the camera that I'm using because of its chip size. So all you do is screw the reducer onto the barrel of the camera you're using. And one thing to note. The closer you get the reducer to the actual chip, the more uh, the more the solar disk will actually fill out the chip. The farther away, the smaller and smaller the disk will appear. So it, it could be a good idea to saw off some of the barrel uh, because with this much distance between the camera chip and the reducer, uh, the solar disk will look pretty small. Not really small, but plenty of space around it so you'll, you'll gather a full disk image. And I did take off that retainer ring, or a little spacer just so I could get, because this, this usually sits right here so I took that off so I could get the uh, reducer a little closer to the chip and of course all I'm going to do is insert my blocking filter and I have a 12 millimeter blocking filter straight through the straight through blocking filter is better for imaging you know a diagonal you know we're going to lose a, a slight bit of quality if we're dealing with reflections of course so a straight through diagonal I'm sorry a straight through blocking filter is the way to go and of course I'm just taking my camera with the reducer on it and sticking it into the eyepiece well like so there we go and now I'm ready to go image nice feather touch focuser so what I'll do is I'm going to show you first without the focal reducer at native focal length and then with the focal reducer in, and you can really see how much of a, an effect cutting your focal length in half really does have.